We've got a guest on the line. Guest, are you there? Oh, you better believe it. Great. Um, our guest today is a fitness guru. Do I have that right? Fitness guru? Brother, I've lost track of guru is appropriate of language, so I just call myself a fitness dictator slash god. Oh, uh, okay. I commend the uh, spirit of the change. It's just the right thing to do, brother. Sure. Well, our guest today is a, uh, a fitness, I'll, I'll just say expert, fitness expert. Right on, broski. Cool. A fitness expert and personal trainer here in Westdale, he goes by the name of Mr. Creatine. Welcome to work at Mr. Creatine. Great to be here, Sam, and may I say you're sounding very well. Oh, um, thank you. No, really. Your throat muscles sound positively shredded, my man. Even over the phone, I can tell. <laughs> okay, well, that's cool. That's good news, I assume. It is, it is. What's your throat routine? Uh, throat routine? I, what do you mean? What's your routine on throat day? Reps, man. Tell me your reps. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't do anything special, really. I... Okay, bro. We'll talk after the show. By the time I'm through with you, you'll be able to lift 140 kilos with your neck. That's like, hang on, 100... That's like 300 pounds. What more could you want than to sprint down Barton Street with a 300-pound weight tied to your throat? <laughs> oh, sure. Well, like you we'll talk after. There goes Sam from work at they'll say. <laughs> Great. Whoa, get a look at old Mega Throat. Sure, I look forward to it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Creatine. No problem, Bob. Okay, so so Mr. Creatine, like like I was saying in my intro, a lot of people are working from home these days, maybe not getting much exercise, and I was hoping you could come on and you know give our listeners like some helpful tips about how they can. Stay fit and healthy during this whole COVID pandemic. Of course. Now, Sam, what we're talking about here is Mr. Creatine's lean schemes for quarantine. Uh, are we? We are. Mr. Creatine's lean schemes for quarantine are schemes I dream to keep you lean, whether teen, has been, or somewhere in between. Oh, sure. Cute rhyme. What rhyme? The whole rhyming thing you did. It's fun. I like it. What thing? Look, Sam, are we going to talk fitness or not? Oh, um, well, exactly. Uh, let's talk fitness, Mr. Creatine. Maybe you're not ready for a mega throat after all. No, really. I mean, let, let's let talk fitness. All right, then. So, what you want to know is how can a person still achieve peak fitness from home, correct? Exactly. I think our listeners might really get something out of that. Sam, now is a great time to lose weight. Let me explain now. Great, Mr. Creatine. Please do. I mean, I think I've seen people... You know, posting online about uh, Corin Chub, which is, you know, totally understandable, of course, and not something somebody should feel bad about. That's right. But look, if you want to ditch that Corin Chub or Flab Demic, as I call it, it's easy. Great. So for people who do want to shed that extra quarantine weight, what would you say, Mr. Creatine? What I'd say is this is a God given opportunity to try fasting and cleansing. Seize it. Well, terrific. Um, and what does that mean? Well, most of your listeners aren't doing anything anyway. That means your metabolism will be low. Mr. Creatine scheme number one, you don't need food. Uh, okay. So you said fasting and cleansing. That's right. So, so I, okay. So you don't need food, what, like at dinner? So maybe you just have like a really big breakfast to get you through the day. Something like that? Eh, boy, you really aren't mega throat material, are you? I, um... No! What I mean is, stop eating. Stop eating. Eating is stupid. It sucks. <laughs> okay, but we need to eat, Mr. Creatine. Sam, that gets me to Mr. Creatine's scheme number two. Eat as much food as possible. <laughs> but, but you just said... Now's a great time to gain weight. You aren't doing any extra movements. So all those calories you consume will go straight to your muscle. Okay, so I should stop eating food but I should eat as much food as possible. That's the spirit. Look, now that you're just sitting there, not eating anything, eat everything. Rather than getting burned off by excess movement, your muscles will grow rich and voluptuous off the food particles and so forth. Food particles? And so forth. And this works, does it? Yes, Sam, Mr. Creatine's schemes work instantly all the time. Okay, sure. I gotta say, uh, I'm becoming a bit, well, Skeptical. I mean, okay, your first two tips are are literally A, to stop eating, and B, to do nothing but eat, which are, well, 
Well, what? I mean, they're literal opposites. I don't think so. Sam, how about Mr. Creatine's theme number three? Sweat it out. Okay, okay, well, this sounds more promising, Mr. Creatine. How should our listeners sweat it out? Turn off your AC. Boom! Free sauna. Don't have AC at all? Even better. 24 7 sauna. Okay, so, uh, make your home hot is the tip. And make sure you don't drink too much water. We're trying to sweat it out. That's the point. Okay, well, like food before, we also need water to live. So I would urge caution for our listeners with some, oh, well, all of these tips. Drinking water just means you need to sweat more. Well, do your own research. That's all I'm going to say um, to anybody following Mr. Creatine here. Are you ready for my next tip? I am, but again, I would ask our listeners to take this with a huge grain of salt at this point. Mr. Creatine scheme number four, get a home gym. Well, this does actually sound like good advice. So how should our listeners get a home gym, Mr. Creatine? Turn your home into a gym. Furniture in houses these days are very sturdily made. We all know this. You can use furniture for any number of exercises. Believe me, it's up to you. Pull-ups on the back of a door are a great way to get a huge pump and blast your legs. Wait, so so you're saying use the home it, itself as a gym, like the home, not, you know, buy gym equipment for home use. That stuff's expensive. You got that kind of scratch? I didn't think so. But that can't be safe, can it? I don't think most doors can support an adult's weight, can they? I've only seen them get ripped out of a door frame a couple of times. See, but that's bad though. Someone could get really hurt. Oh yeah. This one client of mine, Bill Helium, he tried this and the door ripped out of the frame and landed on him. Well, there you go. God, I mean, I hope he was okay. Oh my, no. He got decapitated. De- decapitated? Thank God for the doctors at Westdale Hospital for the avant-garde. They were able to give him a balloon for a head and he's made a full recovery. Okay. <laughs> Sidebar, you know, there's something about that hospital. Gives you the creeps, right? Ex- exactly. I mean, they're saving lives, so you can't be mad. Well, sure, but this guy has a balloon for a head now. It's a little unsettling. A little, it, it's totally unsettling, but you know, like you say. They're saving lives. Look, I think we can agree. It's complicated at best. Right, at best. You know, I have seen that guy at the bank a few times, come to think of it, and He seems happy, as far as I can tell, so, you know, good for him. Oh yeah, he's living his life to the fullest. He's still a client. Hang on, he's still a client of yours? Yes, indeedy. Even after your advice got him decapitated? It's water under the bridge. And his head replaced by a balloon, he's still your client. Ask Bill Helium, ask any of my clients. Mr. Creatine is that damn good. Well, I guess I have to take your word for it, so... Mr. Creatine, um, any any other tips? Nope. That's that's it, is it? For wildly ridiculous fitness tips. Don't eat, eat, sweat a bunch, and hang from your door frame. Okay, well, I guess we'll wrap up, but you know, I'm I'm curious. You mentioned your personal fitness clients. I imagine normally you work out with them in person at a gym, right? Of course. I work out of the muscle hut. Muscle hut, that's one of Westdale's leading gyms over on um, Buff Boy Lane, I think. Buff Boy Lane, that's right. Great gym. Right, and obviously Muscle Hut, like most gyms, has been closed during this whole COVID thing. Right. So I'd guess, what, are you doing your training over Zoom these days? Uh, what's that? Oh, okay. Well, Zoom is an online calling thing. It's basically replaced Skype for a lot of people. Sk- I. Oh, you, you don't know Skype either, so what do you use? Like, do you FaceTime to do your training? I have FaceTime with all my clients, if that's what you mean. Well, I mean, are you doing personal training over FaceTime calls? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Are you not using any video calling software for computers, or, or what? Computers? Those things with the screensavers? Uh, I'm... I guess so. I mean, I never thought of them that way, but yeah, they're the things. They're the things with the screensavers. That would never work. No, when you said FaceTime, I meant I'm still seeing my clients in person. Oh, oh, okay, sure. So, uh, I mean, you figured out how to do your personal training in a 
socially distanced way. Absolutely. Oh, good. We keep a safe and healthy distance from everyone when I'm training people now. Terrific. I'm not a moron. Oh, n- of course not, uh, Mr. Creatine. So, I mean, tell me more. How do you do socially distanced personal training in case, you know, any of our listeners are interested? Sam, I'm pleased to announce publicly for the first time I'm the proud owner of Mr. Creatine's underground sewer gym. Hundreds of my clients getting absolutely shredded in the Westdale sewer system. Westdale's first and only gym to be both illegal and subterranean. A a sewer gym? Fully distanced from the civilized world. Get ripped doing deadlifts next to a river of waste. Tone your biceps on a speed bag that's actually a rat king that's gnawing your hand off. Ready to kick it up a notch? Try a Zumba class led by one of our fitness experts. Ever gotten jacked with a mole man? Now's your chance at Mr. Creatine's underground sewer gym. This sounds really dangerous and also really disgusting, Mr. Creatine. You want to know the best part? What's that? I met my wife there. You met your wife at your new underground sewer gym. I did. Well, bully for you. She's an alligator. Your wife's an alligator. Mrs. Creatina. Mrs. Creatina the alligator. She runs our cycle fit classes. So your alligator wife runs the cycle fit classes. That's great. We don't have any bites. And how's that working out? Not too good. I'll bet. Uh, listen, Sam, I've got to get going. So you're welcome for the fitness advice. Sure, great. If your listeners want to learn more about Mr. Creatine's underground sewer gym, climb down the manhole at Newton in Maine. But don't let the cops see you, or you'll blow this for all of us. And my Mole Man army will find you and will devour you. Good, well, uh, thank you for your time, uh, I, Mr. Creatine, I guess. Uh, what, so do I send the invoice to you or CFMU? In what invoice? Well, this call counts as a premium lesson, which is normally 20000 But for work it, tell you what, I'll knock off five bucks. 20000 There's... No way I'm paying that. Well, all I can say is, prepare to be devout. (laughs) Terrific. Thank you so much, Mr. Creatine. Another amazing guest. Assemble, my minions! All my best to Mrs. Creatina. Tonight we feast! Great. Another fine representative of the uh, Westdale small business community. Where do they find these people? I really gotta move to another market. All right. Here's something. 